Hey guys, I'm going to show you a quick and dirty method to create really cool audio drops that you can put over your sets using only the built-in microphone on your laptop and tools inside a Tractor Pro. It's basically going to sound something like this. A friendly word of warning, you may want to put in a pair of headphones before you start this process. This will prevent any audio feedback loops from being generated from the built-in microphone and your built-in speakers on your laptop. So the first thing we need to do is go into System Preferences and we're going to define the microphone input. You're going to click on Sound and we want to select our input. Right now it's set to line in. We want to change that to internal microphone. Now if I lean over, you can see that this meter is jumping and the microphone is picking up that signal. It should automatically adjust this based on the input level, but if you want, you can bring this up until these meters are hitting close to the top to get optimal volume. As I get closer to the microphone, the signal is going to get louder. Now, um, that's set, so we need to close that out, go into Tractor, and now we need to go into our preferences here. Now, our audio is set to built-in input output. So that's using the internal sound card of your computer for Tractor. If we go to output routing, the uh, main output is going out of the main output of your speakers. And hopefully you have some headphones plugged in there so you don't get a feedback loop. And on your input routing, you can see that I've already changed this. Normally you would see this set to zero and one you want to change it to built-in microphone zero and one, and then you can see these levels bouncing. So basically we've now got the internal microphone routed into Tractor. And again, if you're hearing any feedback, well, you need to put your headphones in or you need to turn down your master volume. So uh, we're going to close this out. Now, how do we get that audio into a track so we can actually hear it? Well, you click on this little carrot here, you wouldn't know it, but you can change from internal playback, which plays back a deck to audio through. Now we've got that audio coming from the microphone routing into this channel, and we can do anything we want to it. So we're gonna bring the lows up just a little bit to boost the low end. We're gonna increase the mid so there's some presence, we're going to decrease the highs to cut down on the hiss. We're then going to assign effect number one to this channel. The first thing we need is kind of a compressor, and that's basically what the Mulholland Drive effect does. So we're going to add that. We're going to turn it up about midway. Play with, around with this until you find the setting you want. We're then going to change my voice a little bit. We're going to use the transpose stretch to bring up until we get a range that you said think sounds pretty good. Then we're going to make that cut through the mix even more by adding a digital lo-fi. I'm going to turn this off so you can hear me a little bit more clearly. Let's put a little bit of lo-fi on that. And now let's give some space to this voice. Right now we've got a pretty clear voice that's going to cut through almost any mix, but it's not going to sit very well. So let's go over to the second effect. First, we want a reverb. The reverb gives our vocal a little bit more thickness and brings the voice out. Then we'll add a little bit of delay to that. This delay is going to allow the vocal to sit a little bit more in the mix and sound like it's kind of natural. You can use the dry wet to kind of bring that effect in or out depending on how saturated you want your voice to sound. And I'm not going to put anything in the third spot, but you could add even another effect if you wanted here to make your voice sound really, really wild. So now we've got a pretty awesome sounding voice. Uh, we want to check our levels. Now, at this point, you would go into the recording section. I'm already, already recording, so you can hear what my voice is doing. You want to make sure that the, uh, the levels are not clipping by adjusting the gain here. And then when you're ready to start recording your voice, just hit record. Last call! Last call for alcohol! So then we'll go into audio recordings. Uh, you want to sort this by import date, and there's the last recording I made. We want to switch the deck back to internal playback, and we'll just drag that recording right into a deck. And now we can just hit play and use our customized drop at any time. Let's go.